up everybody happy friday june 18th uh nice day to end the week plus 740 today uh, a little over 4,000 for the week uh let's go over these trades and i'll come back and recap the week uh only runners today four runners no mighty 90s no pairs trades uh, AMC was a loser for 660, Amazon a winner for 90, Boeing 180, and my biggest winner, Roblox 1130. So let's check these out real quick and then I'll come back and recap the week for you. So AMC, well, first of all, I was having a little bit of technical issues this morning. So that's always frustrating when, uh, when you're trying to trade and especially in front of a, a live audience and you get to have some technical issues. But we made the best of it and uh, and made it work. So AMC was the first one. Uh, didn't have much good price action early in the day, uh, but then uh, I saw AMC looked like a good opportunity. Uh, had the, some big volume bars, not quite as big as the first. And this was part of the issue. My data feed wasn't coming through correctly, so my volume bars weren't weren't 100% uh, accurate. But I still liked it pulling back to yesterday's high here, even without the volume. So I got long here looking for a potential push continuation. Didn't happen, bled lower, so I just cut out of it and took a loss of 660. And then Amazon. Amazon was, uh, was, was bouncing around here when it came down to the unchanged mark. Let's see, no, actually it was here. When it came down to yesterday's high, I got long right here. Um, I got in one, added here, and then it bounced. And so I had a really nice profit up here. I was holding my last contract to see if we could get some more upside. And then it just fell apart, so I ended up cutting out and taking a basically a scratch, $90 winner. Uh, Boeing for plus 180. I was, I was waiting for Boeing to just fall apart, and it just never quite did. Um, so um, on this area right here is where I got short on this little bounce, looking for a flush. Uh, scaled out of some contracts there and then it just kind of chopped around and when it started to kind of bounce I was kind of done for the day I quit right at 10 a.m. Uh, so I just ended up cutting out which ended up being a good choice because uh, Boeing ended up bouncing I was really looking for one more flush to the downside uh, but still booked 180 on the Boeing trade and then lastly Roblox this was a beauty so had a nice big uh, spike in volume here uh, so on this bounce I got short and I caught this entire move down here. I think I got out of, well, I, I held on to two contracts still down here looking to see if this thing was really gonna melt down uh, and it ended up bouncing here. So I started chopping around. I cut out of my last couple right here. So still booked uh, 1,130 on that one. So those are the four trades for today, plus 740 on the day. Uh, let's take a look at a summary of the week. So on the mighty 90s, a little bit in the red, minus 126, only took four trades, uh, two winners, two losers, 50% win rate. Uh, on the pairs trades, took four trades, only one was a winner, so minus 573 on the pairs. But then the runners, big winner, uh, a little over 4700 almost $4,800 on 24 trades. And fantastic win rate, you know, over 79%. You can see the last few weeks here have been red on the runners and look at the winning percentage the last few weeks compared to today. So uh, really, you know, I really want to get overall above above 60 is very profitable. You know, you see here 66 percent booked over five grand, 55 percent. eh, OK, 55 percent. eh, uh, this one, that's kind of not normal. Only 42 percent win rate, but still a nice profit. But you can see when I have these higher win rates is uh, is when I really book some profits. So I'd like to keep the win rate on the runners around 60 or higher. 55 is fine. It's going to be profitable, but over 60 is, is always much better. Uh, and then so total trade summary, uh, a little over 4,000 for the week, uh, which after a couple red weeks basically got back everything we lost over the last couple of red weeks. So I'm, I continue to be amazed how quickly, you know, if we do have a drawdown, A, it usually has something to do with bad management on my part, not on the not on the strategy. Uh, you, you, and it's almost always I hold on to a loser too long and it becomes a bigger loser. Definitely happened here. Had a couple this week as well. Uh, so, you know, sometimes I just got to reset my mindset, get it, get back in the trade hacker mindset. Shameless plug. If you haven't checked out the uh, trade hacker mindset podcast, go do it now. Um, so anyway, nice bounce back. And uh, gives us a total profit for the year to date over 45,000. 
total on the runners year to date, 28,000, a little over 3,300 on the pairs and almost 14K on the mighty 90s. Looking back on the total summary, going back to August when we first started tracking, a little over 21,000 on the mighty 90s, 4,000 on the pairs, 56K on the runners, up over 81K total. So good stuff. Uh, look forward to next week. Next week, we are streaming Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We'll be offline, not streaming on Thursday or Friday. We just posted the new uh, live stream schedule for uh, for July as well. Only two days off in July, one of which is the markets closed for July 5th in observance of Independence Day. And then there's one other Monday later in the month that we can't stream. So otherwise, every single day streaming. Look forward to seeing you in the live stream room. Everybody have a great weekend. Talk to you next week.